Hey my lovelies, thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm so happy you're here. Today's pick a card reading is the person thinking of you. So who's thinking about you and what is on their mind? I'll be looking at the energy surrounding your situation uh, and the energies in this connection. So let's jump in and look at the crystals. I've got group number one, the spirit amethyst. Group number two, the rose quartz. Group number three, the celestite. So take as much time as you need, but listen to your intuition and let it guide you as to which group is for you and is gonna resonate with you today. While you make your selection, I will just let you know that the US Premier Psychic Network, Ask Now, is offering Lumia subscribers a 15 minute call with the five star psychic of your choice for just $10. So if you wanna take advantage of that amazing deal, it's linked in the description box below this video. All right, but when you have made your selection, all the timestamps for each group are also in the description box below. So hit your timestamp and I will see you in a moment. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one and the beautiful amethyst cluster crystal. Also this lovely card as well. So this says, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So I feel like you're very open hearted, very compassionate. I feel like you shine your light very brightly as well. So I feel like you teach other people how to love, um, that you've got a lot of emotional intelligence um, and that you are really on this journey of raising your vibration. You bring a lot of light to humanity that can come in the form of like wisdom and understanding. All right, let's take a look at your situation with your person. Find out what's going on here. Oh my goodness, the message. This person is thinking about you because they want to message you, maybe with a peace offering, uh, maybe to apologize for something that they've done. This card just literally leapt out of the deck. So it says positive news and a positive outcome. The number's 28, 10 or one may be significant to you as well. I absolutely love this for you. So this person who's thinking about you, they wanna connect with you, they've got something important that they want to say to you. Uh, they're thinking about kind of apologizing, or just what I'm hearing is like meet you in the middle so meet you 50 50 okay however that resonates for you let's find out what else is going on take these messages how they resonate for you in your situation these are general readings not one-to-one -one readings so please just be aware of that uh, yes look at this we get the card misunderstood and this full moon image is really saying that this person who's thinking about you feels very emotionally intense around this. The full moon may be significant to you uh, in your situation. They may message you on the full moon, okay? But this is a sign that they're feeling like um, you haven't heard their side of the story, that you haven't seen the full picture, that you haven't been fully illuminated, that maybe you've made assumptions about them, or that they haven't expressed themselves very well and they feel misunderstood by you, all right? Also the card unworthy. So they may have some issues here around feeling insecure in this connection or having an insecure attachment when it comes to relationships and when it comes to this connection, all right? These cards are from the Echo Soul Oracle decks, one of the decks that I have designed for our community. All right, let's jump in to your tarot and find out what's going on. Let's make a bit of space so that I can read these cards for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still a bit early in the morning. It takes me a while to get going. As I'm sure you can maybe relate to, or maybe not, maybe you're a morning person. All right, let's find out. This person who is thinking about you, I still don't have enough room. Um, it's interesting, Pisces energy is showing up really strongly in your reading that may resonate with you. Um, it's like they've got secret feelings for you, okay? So it could be that this is something that, where they haven't spoken about their feelings, where they haven't expressed their feelings to you, but they hold it in their heart, okay? So it may be that they're trying to keep a lid on their feelings. They may have held back about talking about their emotions to you or what's going on with them in their emotional landscape, okay? This is not something that they have discussed with you. They haven't been open with you about like what's fully going going on here. They also feel rejected by you in some way. It may be that you've blocked them, gone no contact. Could be that you've put this person who's thinking about you um, 
that you've pushed them away, that you've said, I don't want to know you. What I'm hearing as well is that it's a fear of rejection. Okay, they want you, this person wants you romantically. They want to be in a relationship with you, they want a future with you. Okay, when they think about that, it feels very uh, sweet to them, very nourishing. Excuse me, very good. Okay, and yet they've got this fear that uh, their dream may not come true or that they will be rejected by you. Okay, so either they've got a fear of that rejection or they already feel rejected by you in some respect. Okay. I see Libra's energy showing up really strongly in your reading that may resonate with you in your situation. I definitely feel like this is something where you've had a relationship with them and it's ended, or perhaps, um, again, this message of rejection, like feeling kind of defeated by this, this connection, not knowing what to say to you, not knowing uh, what to say um, that is right, that is gonna kind of uh, help you to connect, that's gonna bring you closer. It feels like whatever they say, it just kind of pushes you further away um, they feel like perhaps this connection is over but again this energy of rejection from this person who is thinking about you okay there may be jealousy here as well from your person they may feel like they have to compete with other people to get your attention or to maintain your attention not necessarily. There is a frustration in your person around commitment as well. So it may be that they've struggled to commit, that they're unable to commit, um, right, in this situation. Could be for some of you, not for all of you, that you're already in a connection. Maybe uh, one or both of you are married, maybe to each other or perhaps to other people. Maybe someone who you are asking about today is in a karmic relationship with somebody else that is quite serious or perhaps even married to someone else. Like an unhappy marriage or a really difficult marriage is what I'm seeing. That's just a message for some of you though, not for all of you. Let's see what else we have. Five, five or five, five, five may be a sign for you in this connection. This person struggles to express their emotions. They struggle to talk about their emotions, okay, to be emotionally intelligent, to open up about how it is that they're feeling. And as a result of this, they push people away. They push their friends away, their family, you. They deal with things on their own. This is someone who wants a deep connection. This could be a soulmate, someone who's been a very good friend to you who's thinking about you today. I see Scorpio energy very strongly in your reading as well. Showing up here. Um, so they feel like they've pushed away or lost maybe a really good friend, someone who's very significant to them, someone who's very important to them. Could be that you're not talking anymore, or you just feel like a distance between you. So instead of opening up and talking about their feelings and talking about what's on their mind, they keep it all to themselves. It feels too vulnerable to them to open up and talk about things. And there's such a strong energy from this person of trying to keep a lid on things, feeling things very strongly, right? Having emotional depth, right? And yet being unable to fully express it or not wanting to express it. Again, for fear of rejection or ridicule is what I'm hearing, you know, being made fun of for their feelings. And I'm sensing that in the past, um, that may be the case, that they were made fun of for, they've shown up, to, right, let's start at the beginning. I'm getting a lot of messages at once. So they've shown up to life as this person who connects to emotions very deeply in a way that other people don't. And yet they've gone through life and they've been ridiculed by that. I'm hearing by their siblings, by brothers and sisters, perhaps by kids at school in their past, right? They've tried to express these emotions that they've had and they've learned that people can't really relate to that. And that level of rawness and vulnerability is punished, right? It isn't rewarded in our society. And so they've taken a different stance, a different tack of dealing with that. And that way it's just like, my feelings are unworthy. My feelings, people don't wanna know about my feelings. They don't wanna hear about them. So I've gotta keep a lid on it. I've gotta stuff it down. Mm, hang on. I want to check in with your energy and how you are feeling about this person. 
Yeah, you feel like you recognize this in them. You're aware because you get glimpses of it or because they open up sometimes. You're aware that this is somebody who is someone who can connect at a deep level, who experiences deep emotions because you've seen it in them. You've seen it in their eyes. Okay, they've let let you know about this and you can sense it in their energy as well because you're very perceptive all right but you're just like if they're not gonna wake up to this and open up about this then i'm gonna walk away from this that that feels like the energy that you're in you're just like i am emotionally invested in this i do love this person i do really care about them i do see all their amazing good qualities i do see a lot of potential in this connection and yet I'm going to turn my back on it if they're not going to talk to me about how they really feel, right? Let's see. Whoops. I see 11-11, so soulmate or twin flame energy here. Again, I see a message. I see your person wanting to connect with you. In a, they want to connect in a way that's lighthearted, right? They don't want to connect... Like when they reach out to you, which they're going to do because they, they want to be in your energy. They feel this connection between you. They feel the depth of this connection. They know that you're a good match for one another. I do see like a lot of flirtation here. They may want to continue to flirt with you, but then not say anything serious to you because they don't want to get rejected or laughed at. Okay, so they may continue to be flirtatious or just to say, well, let's just... Uh, let's not put a label on this, let's just have fun or let's just carry on being friends. This is a full yes from them, okay, from your person. It is a full yes of like, they're 100% into you, all right? But there's something here where it feels safer to them to keep it a little bit more surface level or just to kind of make jokes rather than talking about real feelings or to just keep things on the surface, but this person does want to commit to you. They do something, they do want something serious with you. So there is this conflict of interest within them, or this conflict within them of just like, yes, really wanting this, being drawn towards you magnetically. And yet, I'm wanting that commitment, wanting to have a relationship with you. And yet, still wanting to stay in their comfort zone and just like, you know, be playful, mess around, flirt things like this. I also see actually that, that those energies could progress to something more. And it's worth you knowing or understanding that them being a little bit superficial or wanting to play around or kind of dodging serious questions with humor, right? With their humor is like a coping mechanism. It's the way that they do things, but it isn't an indication that they're not interested or that they're not serious because in their heart, they are serious about you. They want your soul tribe, your soul family. They want to be part of your world, is what I'm seeing as well. Let's see. I want to jump into this. I want to get a message for you. I'm watching you from afar. So if you're not in communication right now, then they're definitely checking you out on social media, stalking you, trying to find out what's going on with you. Or maybe just watching you from the other side of the office or, or whatever it is. You know, they notice things about you. They notice your clothes, what you're wearing, your hair, taking in the details, right? There's, there's this curiosity. They want to... Uh, you've piqued their interest, okay? You help me to see clearly. This is what you want. You want them to wake up to the fact that they are uh, running away from their emotions, that they're suppressing their emotions, um, that they're not very good at expressing their emotions. But like we talked about at the beginning about how open-hearted you are and how you shine your light so brightly, you offer them a very good example. Okay, you lead by example. And they see that from their higher self, they recognize it. They're just like, here's someone who's not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeve. Here's someone who's not afraid to talk about the deep emotions that they feel, right? That's planting a seed is what I'm hearing within them. Mm, let's see. No, nope. I kind of get a yes feeling when it's uh, the right card to draw. The timing wasn't right. 
So they may have pushed you away because they had other responsibilities. I feel that they were stalling and that they stalled so much. They kept thinking, oh no, but there's this and that, this excuse, that excuse, okay? And really it was just a way of them dodging their own emotions and, you know, so that they didn't have to, like, be vulnerable to get close to you. So they're just like, either in their mind or to you, oh, I've got these responsibilities or this isn't the right time or this isn't what I truly want, but they're lying to themselves, okay? so this. This issue of timing, I feel, is more in their head, more in their mind, than in, uh, in reality, okay? It's something that they've created, like, as an excuse to be able to, to dodge their own emotions regarding you in this situation. All right, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. If you want to get the most accurate answers in your situation and find out more about where this connection is going and time scales, things like that, then I recommend getting a personal reading. Ask Now are offering Lumia subscribers a 15 minute reading with a five star psychic of your choice for just $10. Some of these things can get pretty pricey and this is a really amazing deal of getting an in-depth reading in your situation. So it's 15 minutes for just $10, so it's less than a dollar a minute with Ask Now. If you've not been over to Ask Now, they are the US premier psychic network. You can find out more about them. They are linked in the description box below, but I'm sending you love. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two and the raw rose quartz crystal, and then also this beautiful card as well, which has also got a lot of pink on it. Um, let me read it to you. It says, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. So I feel like you're moving towards your highest timeline. You're in a process of raising your vibration as well. And also this energy of expanding your perceptions. So you're seeing past illusions, okay? So you have this beautiful gift where you see things not as they appear to be, but as they truly are. The world that we live in is full of illusions and having that gift that you have to see through the illusion or what it is that someone's saying, past that and to the truth of any given situation is really a gift. So I see that in your energy. Let's jump in and find out who is thinking about you and what's going on in this connection. Why are they connected to your energy? as well. Remember, these are general readings, not one-to-one -one readings, so just take these readings how they resonate for you in your personal situation, all right? That will be lovely. Oh, I love this. I'm loving your energy, you guys, in group number two. Goddess of creation. I don't think I've ever drawn this card before. It's very beautiful. It says transformation. The number seven may be significant to you. This is about wholeness. So I feel like you've been on this journey of coming home to yourself, of recognizing what is authentic to you. And what I'm hearing is learning to be discerning about who is for you, about who's allowed close to you in your life, about who you wanna keep at arm's length, right? This is what I'm sensing, a lot of feminine energy here as well, regardless of your gender, the energy of creativity, of receptivity as well, all right? All right, let's find out what's going on here. So there's something about these energies that we've been talking about that this person is very drawn to, and maybe that they have a deficit of these energies, and so they wanna to come to you to learn from you about these uh, particular energies, or that they find you uh, very magnetic in that way, maybe that you are very creative, maybe you're musical or artistic in some way, graphic designer, something like this, um, or that you love nature, this is something that they want to be a part of, that they want to experience with you. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we get the card empty. So this feels like a void in this situation or your person who's thinking about you is really feeling like there is a void. Perhaps they feel empty without you. Perhaps they feel empty when you are not in their life, okay? Or they're not experiencing your energy, that deficit that we were talking about just now. And then also you get the card fresh start. So this is someone who wishes that they could go back in time. 
um, and begin again is what I'm hearing. So it may be that this is a new opportunity that's coming into your life for some of you. If that's not the case, then uh, you know a new romantic opportunity with this person who's thinking about you, but there's also this energy that they may have, also that you may have history with this person, right? I wanna grab this deck. You may already have history with this person and they want to start over. They want a, like a real clean slate. They're just like, can we just forget about all this? Can't we just forget about all this? Can't we just let this go? I want a fresh start with you. So there is this beautiful energy from this person of uh, wanting this clean slate and wanting to start something with you or start something new with you. Okay, let's find out what's going on. This is someone who's like, you may have turned your back on this connection or it could be like an energy of like a missed opportunity, like ships that pass in the night. Maybe you kind of passed each other in, you know, in passing, you know, met each other in passing, but didn't really connect is what I'm seeing. For some of you, this is an energy where you've turned your back on this connection or your person has after a lot of drama. This could be personal drama in your personal life or it could be drama between you is what I'm seeing, okay? Some sort of truth that was revealed maybe, just a lot of conflict or just a lot of change is what I'm seeing as well in your life circumstances or in this connection or in this person. Something where you felt that this was unsustainable Maybe you found out something about them and you're just like, Do you know what, this isn't for me. And yet this person is still, they still carry a torch for you. They're still interested in you, right? Well, they are interested in you. I see that there is flirtation here. I see that there is like a budding romance, something new or kind of feelings that still linger. Is what I'm sensing. Oh, a message that I'm getting is that for some of you in this group, it may be the case that they have been waiting in the wings for something else to break down. So maybe they were waiting for you to become single because you were in another, another connection. They were waiting for you to move on from this situation before they were able to uh, reveal their feelings or make a move. Okay, so that's a strong message that's coming through. These readings can resonate vice versa as well. So maybe that you've been waiting for them to be single. Let's find out what else is going on. Oh my goodness, two, two or two, 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 maybe a sign here. Yes, a strong energy of release, having to release something from the past. And I see this as a person, okay? So maybe having to deal with feelings from a past, having to deal with the fallout of uh, another relationship, a friendship, maybe even a marriage, not necessarily, but I see just that message that they've been waiting for you to be free. They've been waiting for you to, uh, or to be in this energy where you can be aligned with one another. Such a strong energy of releasing the past, of releasing baggage from the past, of this being like a fork in the road, a crossroads, uh, energetically right a big decision being made i really like this energy but it feels very specific right it feels very specific that you're this person who's thinking about you right now is at a crossroads in their life energetically they've got big decisions to make and that decision that they're making is to release something okay so release a past energy a past person i'm particularly seeing a past person or they've been waiting for you to do that. So those energies are being echoed as well. I love this. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, they want you. They're in love with you. This person is in love with you. I see Pisces energy here. That may resonate with you. Taurus and Libra energy as well. Okay, so this person is in love with you. What I'm hearing is they've been in love with you all along, okay? They see you as the ultimate, the ultimate gift, the ultimate prize, the ultimate win, right? Just more feminine energy as well. Maybe that they see you as their divine feminine, maybe just from their higher self. Again, the same message coming through. I feel like there's a third party involved or like another energy 
and seeing that here really strongly or it could just be that you've got kids or they've got kids and that that is creating some sort of very particular dynamic but what I'm really seeing is that there is another energy a karmic energy and they've been waiting maybe for you to move on from that or for them to be it's like waiting for you guys to be in alignment and I see you coming into alignment as a result of letting go of something from the past in order to begin again in order to have this fresh start for some of you this may be from years and years ago this person who's thinking about you and they've never forgotten you right all this has been simmering away uh, you know you've been getting on with your life they've been getting on with their life and yet you still think about each other and this has always been simmering away um, on the back burner so that's what I see here but definitely somebody else's energy in the mix that like I was saying either you or them have had to move past or move on from or let go of making that decision to end it, making that decision to let go of the past in order to pursue what it is that they really want. And what it is that they really want, you guessed it, is you. Right, let's find out what else is going on here. You guys, you feel very strongly about this person. If this is your reading, you'll know it. I see Cancer energy here, Gemini's energy as well, okay? Ooh, I am feeling this really strongly in my heart chakra. It's just like blossoming open, shining brightly. You're just like, yes to this person. Maybe you're trying to manifest this person. Maybe you see this person as your ideal. You're just like, I've loved you. I've always loved you. You are the one for me. No one else will do. You see them as soulmate, maybe twin flame, strong energy that you want to unite with this person, be in relationship with them, or maybe even reunite with them. You could have been childhood sweethearts, or again, that energy that you've known each other for a long time. If you haven't known each other for a long time in this lifetime, then it could be a past life uh, energy that I'm picking up on, where you've known each other through many lifetimes, okay? But this person, they make you feel really good, they make you feel really happy. This could be your dream come true. This is what you've been wishing for, to be with them, for them to choose you maybe as well. Let's see. But you're just like, yes, this is what I want. You're sure about what it is that you want. You have strong, loving feelings for this person. It's really beautiful. Let's see. intense connection I wouldn't be surprised if this was a twin flame connection you guys so I see Aquarius energy more Gemini energy and more Pisces energy showing up in your reading okay so that may resonate with you they have this feels like they have held you in their hearts for a long time or you have held each other in your hearts for a long time and yet they haven't been able to speak about this love they haven't been open about this it may have been something that they had within them but never talked to you about it or never acted on it. It feels like you've had feelings for one another but not been able to be together due to circumstances for a long time or for a while at least, okay? But they have always carried the torch for you. They've always hoped that one day they would be able to be in relationship with you. They would be able to be with you and have you as their person. They've always held this as a wish or a hope. It's like you've got the same energies. You've both, you've wished for them and they are wishing for you. Whoever this is who's thinking about you. And it's like other people don't know about this necessarily or maybe only close people close to you. Right? You may be talking to each other and being very polite to each other and yet nobody knows the depth of your feelings. For each other or that you've got a thing for each other okay feels a bit magical i see a wish coming true here though if you've wished for this with this person if this is your message if this is resonating with you i see a wish coming true yeah i feel like they're quite confused in their emotions that they may have 
that they are, it's like quite a confusing time or a conflicting time emotionally for them, okay? I feel like someone in this connection has experienced a lot of frustration or has been through a lot to get to this point and it hasn't always been a clear path forward but such a strong energy that whatever it is that's been holding them back or that has held them back they're now able to move on from that uh, that energy into this fresh new energy that we've been talking about so what i'm really seeing is two people who've always had that eye on each other or there's always been a frisson or flirtation but in maybe hasn't been explored or kind of they missed their chance with you or you missed their chance with them and yet they always carried a torch. They always held hope that they, that you would be together one day. Yeah, I want to fight for this love. This is potent. This is true love. This is real love. There are romantic feelings here. Okay, maybe it's going to be an uphill struggle. Maybe it has been a bit of an uphill struggle. Okay. Life isn't always easy, but this is someone who's like fully invested in this connection and wants to uh, experience this with you. All right, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. If you want to get a personal reading and have someone connect to your own energy to get the most accurate insights into the future of this connection with your person, I recommend Ask Now. Ask Now are the US premier psychic network and they are offering Lumia subscribers an amazing deal. It's 15 minutes with the five star psychic of your choice to get a really in depth reading for just $10. So it's less than a dollar a minute it's a really amazing deal if you want to take advantage of that and find out what the future has in store for you then check out all the details they are linked below in the description box i'm sending you lots of love i hope to see you soon take care hey everyone welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three and the beautiful cellar state cluster crystal such beautiful calming energy from this crystal and then this lovely card as well and this says, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So this is like giving it up to God or the universe, however you resonate with source energy and just putting your total trust in the unfolding of your kind of romantic life or in this situation. So I love that. Maybe it's something that you're learning as part of your manifestation practice. Uh, maybe it's something that comes naturally to you just to, or maybe you're just reaching that point where you're just like, do you know what? I can't control this. I've got no control over this. I can only control what I can control and what I can't control. I'm just going to kind of give it up to the universe and I trust that everything is working out in my favor. So that is beautiful. Let's see. I see a lot of happiness for you in your future as a result of the work that you're doing on yourself and your own vibration. But let's find out who is thinking about you today and the energy surrounding your connection or why you are connected energetically to each other. Let's find out. Moonlight. This is nice. This indicates like a lot of romance here. All right, divine feminine energy as well. The numbers 36 or nine or 369 may be significant to you. Uh, the Nikola Tesla manifestation method, the 369 method, uh, that may resonate with you or it may be something that you are doing or trying. It will work, it's very potent, it's very powerful. You can look it up if you haven't heard of it already. This is really saying to me there's a lot of potential in this connection or this person who's thinking about you sees a lot of potential with you, that they have romantic feelings for you. This can also indicate travel as well. A more blue energy. So the color blue may be significant to you or this can indicate the throat chakra about kind of the truth, speaking your truth, being authentic. Whoops. Let's find out. What else is going on? I'm sorry, you may be able to hear my rabbits in the background there. They're playing and I can hear them scrabbling a little bit. We're in a scrabbling sort of mood. All right, let's find out. We will be together again. This is potent energy coming out in your, in your reading right now. So this person who's thinking about you wants to be in union with you, wants to be in relationship with you. They may want a second chance with you is what I'm hearing from spirit as well. So that is something that's showing up here. Let's see what else we have. Oh, 
oh you guys you ready uh, you get the card beginning so this is like a new start turning over a new leaf a fresh start something that's just at the beginning of something right um, a beginning of a new chapter perhaps or the beginning of this connection and you get the card twin flame now I've got like 10 decks out here they've got a mixture of light and shade in their messages but this is the one that you have chosen roses may be a sign for you pink roses in particular may be a sign for you as well so twin flame energy showing up in your reading uh, a new beginning with a twin flame a fresh start with a twin flame something like this could just be soulmate energy as well divine counterparts represented here but uh, we'll see we'll see what's going on in this situation between you and your person really powerful energy showing up here I see Scorpio energy I see Leo's energy showing up very strongly in your reading that may resonate with you in your situation someone in this connection really needs to overcome their insecurities their self-doubt is what I'm seeing uh, here regarding this situation this is a very transformative connection between you and this person it's bringing a lot of changes it may bring like an ego death something like this moving away from the material and towards the spiritual moving towards authenticity as well being more open-hearted and part of that journey is overcoming those insecurities they feel very insecure about being vulnerable about opening their hearts all right this may be something that has ended perhaps you've been together and it ended and you're no longer together right that's just a message for some of you not for all of you uh, and that may be particularly to do with their own insecurities or to do with uh, them being not strong enough to face their own emotions maybe a little bit of a coward in some way maybe just too shy to express their emotions or to be real to be vulnerable let's see what else we have This person is serious about you. They know that they want to invest in you is what I'm seeing. They see you for in their life for a long time, not just for a good time is what I'm seeing. It feels like there's something about both of your energies where you've been through a lot. You know, perhaps your person has had a hard life. Perhaps they've had a lot of struggle in their life. I see a lot of wounding in their energy field. That may be mirrored in your energy field as well. You may have similar backgrounds, similar experiences that draw you together may also be that you have like similar wounding or that you understand each other on the soul level is what I'm seeing but there is a strong energy from your person who who is thinking about you this person who's thinking about you is invested in this connection and they want something serious for the long term this is someone who's ready to settle down who wants to settle down who sees you as a, a long-term partner or that there is long-term potential here it feels like they're already invested in this connection. It feels like this connection, where you're at at this point, there may have been like a bit of a struggle before that or a little bit um, of difficulties. Maybe you've seen each other through those difficulties. If that isn't the case, then it pertains to before you meeting one another that you, like we were talking about, that you've had uh, similar experiences in common. Let's see. I see a third party here like a karmic partner in this connection who's really like uh, I want to say put a spanner in the works made things difficult made things challenging maybe even made things impossible this may feel like an impossible love is what I'm hearing from spirit and yet they're still invested in you their heart is still in this they still see the potential of this connection they see you as their divine feminine that may resonate with you regardless of gender not necessarily but they do see you as someone who's very elevated right somebody who they have up on the pedestal someone who is like like a true love is what I'm seeing here and yet there's some sort of 
uh, they feel some sort of pain around this connection. Again, this wound message is coming up. This could be from their past, even from their childhood. But I sense there is some sort of pain for them when they think of you. They feel hurt or they feel pain or they feel some sort of loss. Or it could be that they trigger, um, that this connection triggers a wound in them. And that wound may pertain to... Uh, particularly to their family, particularly to uh, a woman in their family, probably their mother is what I'm sensing. It's not a message for all of you, just for some of you. It could also be that it's something that you don't know about, that you're not aware of, but there's something about your energy, particularly if you are soulmates or twin flames, that really unlocks this for them. It is a very triggering sort of connection. And those triggers are there to bring things to the surface for healing, for transformation. We saw that transformative energy. I said that this was a very uh, transformative connection. It's These triggers are brought to the surface for transformation, for healing, for um, alchemizing, I guess you could say. But I really see that there is like a third party influence here. It could be their mother or a mother figure in their life that's casting a shadow over this connection, or it could be a karmic partner. I'm not quite sure because this is just a general reading. You can take it how it resonates in your situation as well for you, how this rings true for you. Sorry, I just had to pause the video for a moment because there was a delivery and it was super noisy outside, so I didn't want it to pick up on the audio. So 333 three, three is definitely going to be a sign for you in this connection. If it doesn't resonate now, it's going to show up for you. Uh, in your life, if you ever see 333, three, three, then it is an indication that uh, Spirit is trying to give you a message regarding this situation. I'm also getting this energy that you are really a teacher to this person, helping them to overcome this mother wound or this this uh, childhood wound that is being triggered here as well. So they are learning a lot from you. I'm going to jump into this deck. Let's see. Look at this. I wanted to check in with your energy to see how you are feeling about this person who is thinking about you. Uh, Libra Taurus energy showing up here, Gemini's energy as well, that may resonate with you, 99 or 999 may be a sign for you in this connection as well. So you do see this person as somebody very special, maybe as a divine counterpart, a soulmate or a, a twin flame connection, you really feel like you're connected at the heart level to this person, that they've brought you a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of emotional nourishment, that they feel very good uh, to be around, okay? You love being around this person. It's just like maybe they tick all the boxes, they're everything that you wanted, and yet there's something here where this situation has become, uh, created a lot of anxiety for you, maybe even been a bit of a nightmare for you in this situation, something where you're worrying a lot about this person or about the future, about the future of this connection, about your own future, like, you know, what will I do if they don't choose me? What will I do if they're not in my life? What will I do? if this doesn't work out, okay? So you've got in to that energy. So it feels like, uh, but you know, you understand, you know, like we opened this reading with about having uh, faith in the unseen, you know, walk by faith and not by sight. You can comment that down below. I walk by faith and not by sight, okay? So don't allow the 3D to trigger you into disaster thinking, focus on what it is that you do want, not what it is that you don't want. Let's find out what else we have here. So many angel numbers in your reading. I see a lot of resistance coming up from your person. They're struggling to get past this wound, okay? I see five, uh, sorry, 555 five, five may be a sign for you or 55 five may show up as a sign for you. In this connection as well, a lot of angel numbers. It's amazing. Um, it's what I'm seeing here. So, yeah, this is someone who's got like that wounded warrior energy. You know, they've been through a lot. They're struggling a lot with the kind of, it feels like they have been given as part of their soul's journey in this lifetime quite a lot to deal with, quite a lot of heaviness, a lot of heavier energies to process, okay, as part of their soul's mission. That's what I'm picking up on here uh, regarding this. 
there's such a strong energy that you're nearly there with this connection of kind of making a breakthrough or making a connection with this person. I do feel like there has been, like maybe you're in separation or no contact with this person as a result of uh, a fight or an argument, a disagreement, not being able to get onto the same page. I see two people who care about each other but aren't aligned. I just feel like there's just a lot of, it feels like mud or mess below in the surface. So you're just like, yes, I've got feelings for you, but this is, this is a soulful connection. This is a triggering connection. It is gonna be a challenging connection, I've gotta be honest. But on the other side of that is enlightenment, you know, is a higher vibration, is happiness, is alignment, right? But it, this connection feels like a journey. Okay, let's see. This could be a long distance connection for some of you. I feel like you may be in an energy of should I wait or move on from this person? You want them to fight for you. Again, these energies can resonate vice versa. I'm gonna jump into this deck. So I see an energy here where you feel like maybe too much water, there's too much water under the bridge, too much time has passed for some of you. That's what I'm seeing here, but I really feel like your person is very resistant to changing and this is creating like distance between you. There may be physical distance between you as well. You may feel like you've had no choice but to turn your back on this connection because your person is so stubborn or because they won't hear you out or see your point of view. Let's see. I see Virgo's energy showing up really strongly, Pisces energy as well. Your person is like a little bit unrealistic about what it takes to really connect at a deep level or to have a relationship is what I'm sensing. It may just be that they're a little bit naive or a little bit uh, immature in some way or that they lack experience is what I'm sensing right now. There is an energy here of kind of being more discerning is what I'm sensing. Again, an energy that they they may have like a lone wolf sort of energy or they're not used to letting anybody into their process. I sense that they're like, they've shut you out or that they're being very cold towards you or that they have been very cold towards you, which, is may, uh, which may be why it's caused this breakdown or this anxiety for you, okay? Or this breakdown in communication between you and this person. They are thinking about things very deeply though. So they're not like turning away from this. They are thinking about things, but they feel like the conclusions that they're coming to is leaving them with more questions and answers or that it's making them feel emotionally confused to, to think about these things. Let's see. The waiting heart. I really feel like you're waiting for this person. Maybe you've put your life on hold for this person because you can still sense that energy. You can feel them. You're just like, if I give them long enough, feeling like they're missing from your life, really missing them. Again, this can resonate vice versa. You, there can be a lot of mirroring in this connection, particularly if uh, this is a twin flame situation, okay? losing myself in you. So these are like, there's like some enmeshment here between you and your person or just like these energies between you and them are really uh, heavily invested in you. They're heavily, you're heavily connected to them. So you may think I'm turning my back on this, I'm walking away and yet you're getting signs and synchronicities and these angel numbers, dreaming about them. And again, that could be vice versa. Okay, so you connected. It could be that you're together in the 5D from the higher self. You're very much enmeshed in each other's energy, caught up in each other's timelines. So you may feel in your mind, oh, I should walk away from this. I should stop waiting. I should leave this alone. And yet you're unable to do that because you're so um, caught up uh, or woven into each other's timelines, into each other's energy. 
I feel like when you are together or if you are together, it feels very intense. Like there's no one else in the world. You look into their eyes, you feel like, you know, there's nothing else that matters. Let's see. Mm, your body gives me so much pleasure. So there's a lot of sensuality in this connection. Okay, there's a lot of uh, desire, sexual chemistry between you and this person as well. Um, that level of intensity that we've been talking about. Let's see. You are my destiny. This one just leapt out. You are my destiny. So they do see you in their future. They do want to be with you. They know that you are meant to be. They know that you are right for one another. This is from the Seasons of the Soul Oracle deck, one of the decks that I've created for our community, one of the Lumiere decks. So yeah, they see you as their destiny. All right, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. Do give this video a like. And if you wanna get more insights into your situation with this person who is thinking about you, uh, timelines, things that I am unable to give you in a general reading, then I recommend getting a personal reading and having a psychic connect to your own energy. Ask Now are offering Lumiere subscribers their first reading of 15 minutes you get an in-depth 15 minute reading for just ten dollars so that's less than a dollar a minute it is a really amazing deal you can choose the five star psychic of your choice over at ask now and have all your personal questions answered do check out that amazing deal it is linked below in the description box if you want to find out more but i'm sending you lots of love and i hope to see you soon take care